Welcome back to another Run Bike Mike video. My name is Mike. If this is your first time here, thanks for stopping by. If you've been here before, thanks for coming back. Today, I wanna to talk about what might be the smallest bike rack you've ever seen. The Inno RT202. Let's get into it. This bike rack is specifically designed for your pickup truck. If you're tired of laying your bike down in the bed of your truck, or you don't wanna lay it over a tailgate pad or have it on a hitch rack, this might be the option for you. There are two models. The RT202, which is this one, is the C-channel model, and the RT201, which just clamps to a regular truck bed rail. Now for a truck that has a C-channel, that's what the RT202 is designed for. It's got this little piece that will slide right down through this C-channel. Let's just show you how this works. Now this piece right here, it'll slide into your C-channel so you can lock it into place. Now that you've put the rack into the C-channel, you're gonna wanna go ahead and grab your bike before you tighten this whole thing down. Putting your bike up here will allow you to see if you need to do an up and down adjustment or a side to side adjustment. Once you have it in the desired spot for your bike, you're gonna wanna go ahead and take this plastic lever and just tighten it down. Spins real easy like this, and then once it gets pretty tight, you can go ahead and turn it and tighten it even more. Now your bike may be out further or in closer to the rail of your bed. That's where the adjustment on this rod comes into play. This rod is fully threaded, so you have a lot of leeway between how far out you need it to go or how far in you need it to go. Just get it to the desired position that you need, and then you can set the angle of your tube that you're trying to connect it to on your bike, and then simply open this up, and then your bike will sit in here, and you'll lock it down with the strap. If you want some additional security, they do offer a ratchet strap loop. That way you can tie it down even more if you want to. So one extra feature that won't stand out as much is this little bitty hole right here inside the plastic lever. What that's used for is to run a lock through it. You simply just run your lock through it, wrap it around the frame of your bike, and then to one of the anchors in the bed of your truck. And your bike and your rack is all completely locked in. Let's go ahead and try out my road bike on this. Now one thing you may have to do is watch the pedal that's closest to your wheel well. You may have to turn it up so it doesn't hit that. Now since you took the time to align it whenever you were installing the rack, you should just be able to lean your bike up against it, wrap the straps around, and tighten them tight. It's that easy. Now that we've got this one done, let's go ahead and give my mountain bike a try. Just a few simple adjustments, and I can have a totally different bike with a completely different geometry installed and ready to go. And there you go, that is the Inno RT202 bike rack. They also sell the 201. I'm gonna put links below in the description. That way you can pick up either the C-channel version, the RT202, or the standard truck bed version, the RT201. This is a really cool solution if you wanted to keep a bike rack with you at all times. This thing is so small, it could fit in the glove box of most trucks. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Is this a bike rack that you would get? Would you consider this for your truck? Or do you just lay your bike down in the bed of your truck? If you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. It really helps out my channel and I greatly appreciate it. But as always, get out there, run, bike, build, and just have fun. We'll see you in the next one. Just a tiny little baby rack. So small, could fit you in my pocket. <laughs>